Right. Hi guys, it's Steve at GovTech Systems. We are in the Abingdon Demo Center. Today, a video that everyone has been asking for, something that we've been working on, um, because this is not easy, but we've been asked for comparisons of Pro TVX against another leading device. Now, we have done several tests already using things like GT3, iMini, IO, um, IXO, so we've got lots of devices. But I'm going to be honest, the IR really does interfere with the devices when you're running them simultaneously. Um, you might get the odd shot that looks good, but effectively it is affecting it. You can see it strobing in the uh, Club Road replay videos. So we know that they are interfering with each other. And for that purpose, I don't think it's a fair test. Even if you see one shot that looks good, still don't think it's a complete fair test. Anyway, today we have set up Trackman 4 um, with Proti. So we have done this. There is still, you know, we've got to put the lights on to do certain things, you know, and then it's going to be a slight indiscrepancy against each other. But we feel that this is probably the fairest way we can do it. We have got an RCT ball that we're using for Trackman. We have laser lined uh, the Trackman like crosshair alignment with the Proti target line calibration. So that's been lasered. We have got altitude and humidity exactly the same in both softwares. So as far as we're concerned, this is about as close as we're going to get in terms of making sure everything can be as good as it can be to do a fair test. Uh, we've got PJ Pro, Ian Mitchell with us today. He's going to hit a couple of shots out, and then we're just going to have a look at some data and just see how it basically stacks up. So, Ian, I'm going to get you to hit away when we can, and then as long as we can get both shots to track, have a look at some comparisons. <coughs> Track from both, which is a good start. Okay, so first we'll just look at the shot tracer line. So we can see it's obviously pushed out right, and we can see it's pushed out right. So that's a good start. Let's run through some data. So a 163.6 carry against a 166.5 carry. So we've got a discrepancy of just under three yards. Uh, we'll ignore total because that's going to be irrelevant. Offline 11, offline 14. So not too bad. Yeah. Ball speed 113.6, 113.5. Really good. Yeah, only 0.1 mile an hour difference. Launch to 18.9, launch to 19.3. So again, only 0.4 of the green launch. Uh, backspin 4612, 4604. Yeah, I mean, that's brilliant. I mean, that really is close. Uh, we'll have a look at some fun data. We'll see what we can see. So, face angle 26 open, uh, face angle 24 open. 0.2. Club par 0.8 and club par uh, 3.9. Bit of a discrepancy yeah, on par. Yeah. We have seen a bit of discrepancy on par, haven't we? Today. Yeah, yeah. So that is probably one number that, if, when looking at the two systems, that's the one that stood out the most. So, Ian, let's get you to hit another one. Um, just make sure that wasn't a bit of a freak coincidence. But again, let's have another look at some data. I'll make sure this one tracks because it's quick. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so then starting with the tracer line again, slight push out right, slight push out right, that's the same shot. Yeah. Okay, so 167.8, 169.9, so again, two yards, uh, 11.9 offline, 6.3 offline. Slightly yeah, so it seems slightly, not slightly less than the track man there, but not far. 116.4 ball, 116.7. Ball speed's been brilliant right. between those two devices. Uh, launch angle 16.8. Launch angle 17. Okay. Point two again. It's 4839, 4973. Again, you'd be perfectly happy with that between the two devices. Uh, face angle 1.6 against 1.2, 5.2 into L against 1. Yeah, again, club pass. Club pass, just a little bit. Club pass a little bit out. So, but apart from that, I think it's been it's been pretty steady. Yeah. One more. Let's get you here, one more in. Uh, three shots. Different shape. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, put a different shape on it. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, good. So both tracked out again. As we can see, track man turning over. Hasn't turned over as much as track man. No. So, sorry, protein. So let's see what we've got 163.6, 165.8, two yards again. Uh, offline, it's only saying 1.6 left, and that's saying nine yards wrong. So, yeah, spin hasn't probably quite shown it turning over. 112.5 on the ball, 112.6. Thoughts of it's brilliant. Launching at 19.4, launching at 19.1. 4.3 on the spin, nearest down at 4 Close. on the protein. So close again. Face angle, 3.9 open, 3.5 open. Face angle, good. Yeah, it is really good. 
four, eight on the part, nine, eight on the part. Now, <laughs> this is where you're going to kind of argue against track man four at the back of the room radar. Okay, you've got the AI running off of protein, which again, you know, he's got to take a bit of the better. So there's going to be a little bit of which one do you trust more in terms of what's going on now. But I must admit, in, ter in terms of data, when people are asking us for comparison, I'm really happy with that. Yeah, it's very close. Yeah, I think from what we're seeing on those numbers, you know, I'd be happy with these numbers. This had an update today. Whether that update's made it closer to that, worse than that, I don't know. And this is what's going to happen. All these things are going to keep moving because they are, you know, living and breathing in that sense. They're always evolving. But in terms of what we're generally seeing, I think it's pretty it's good. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, I think I think it's not bad at all. And I think, you know, to try and get the environment right, as I say, making sure everything was laser lines, making sure that the like humidity, altitude, temperature, all of those things were set up exactly the same. That was critical. Yep. You know, got to make sure you do as fair a test as we can. But as I say, overall, I think I'd be reasonably happy with that. Uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea, guys, of what we're seeing in terms of kind of consistency for data. As I say, looking at this at the same time is the only way you can really do it. But always going to get some discrepancies, but I think so far so good in terms of what we're seeing between devices. If you need any more help, you can visit us at www.golftechsystems.com.